Good up. We're Kevin Radley. Awesome job. Go, Kevin. Woohoo! Oh, yeah, right. Okay. Um, how does this? Does that sound okay? Sounds good. Thank you, M. Joy. Uh, um, so, uh, I got a few songs I'm going to play. Uh, I hope you like them. I haven't really been listening to so many folks today. This is a great set of people. Uh, it's been lis great listening to everyone. And um, and one day I'm going to go back to where I used to live near Alameda. <laughs> I used to live off High Street. Yeah. Is Olay still open, Waffle House? It is? Yes, it made it. <laughs> Have you ever eaten there? No. <laughs> I was a, a child last time I ate there, personally. Yeah, well, right. It's a great place, actually. I haven't been in a long time. I'll have to go. All right. Um, so I'm going to uh, start just sort of like let it go and uh, uh, play a song that it's uh, called summertime blues and no doubt that one and people have heard this before i know but i keep waiting for john to jump on with uh, harmonica all right so this is summertime blues it's uh celebrating the kind of time frame we're in here celebrating going out and hanging out and uh beautiful days but tomorrow's rain so thank you rain coming. Change the lyrics in the middle of that second verse. I should never do that, but that's okay because I stumbled through it. And that's that's my style. <laughs> this is another song about celebrating going outside. I probably played this last time I was here, but I like it. And so um, and soon to be recorded, coming down the road, working on that. That's been been the goal for the years. Uh, I have a CD, but man. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
this is called this is a restaurant that I uh, used to go to and hang out in Napa, at the Napa uh, Sonoma borderline, called the Fremont Grill, and um, it was a great place to go hang out and spend the day. People just sort of like people would just go hang out with their families and eat and hang out outside and dance around and, you know, get nuts. And it was always a tr great pleasure to be there. Then they changed the name to the Boxcar Grill. I can't change the song. No way. All right, Fremont Strut. video-wise, so, you know, it doesn't mean they're not paying attention. <laughs> it's like, you know, they're taking a break and drinking tea or, or having a gin and tonic or something. Uh, this song has a swear word in it. It's also, <laughs> I know, shake a finger. Uh-uh, what? Jesus, get you tomorrow. Um, no, he ain't got me yet, so that's good. Um, so... Uh, <laughs> And also it came to me sort of like, uh, holy moly, I've been through three songs and I've only done five minutes. What do you know? That's the beauty of doing short songs. So this song is uh, basically one verse, <laughs> kind of repeated over and over and over. Uh, but when blues comes at you like that, that's all you think about is that pain and that blues. And hopefully it'll just pass you by. So blues don't take my life. Am I too loud? Am I breaking up? I was We're good? Thank you, MJ. <laughs> Thumbs up. Comes around and fucks 
Play, baby. No, um, it was, you know, it's nice to be able to see people's faces. Um, and then when I said the F word, MJ's face from that point on was very sort of sour. <laughs> the whole thing. It was like, what? No, 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 no. I was focusing on the baseline. I was like, no, it, was, it was good. <laughs> it's good. It was the best, man. You know, it was sort of like, whoa, when that's the first time I've seen. You know, this is the first time I've ever seen somebody like, just like, whoa. At first I was kidding. I was messing with you. No, I, I know. All right. Um, okay. I'm going to try a song I haven't done in a long time, but I want to do it. And this is, uh, my songs go all over the map. It's kind of like a jukebox. You know, I don't have a real style. <laughs> I kind of float between genres. And so I'm going to play this little pup, which I adore. And um, the bad thing when you hear people play that you like, you go, oh, what are they playing? What is that? Can you hear that? OK, good. It's a tenor guitar. Because uh, where am I? See those digits? No mandolin can stand it. They're just like, <laughs> so uh, this is a song that a friend of mine uh, sent to me a long time ago, um, and he sent out this Facebook page. I get a lot of lyrics, actually, from Facebook, to tell you the truth. And so um, he sent this image of him and him leaning up against a boxcar with a banjo, and uh, his name's Bill Neese. I don't think he's on listening here too bad, but. 
He's a old, a very old friend, and so he had this promo like a record comp, record cover, titled "Bill Nees, the Endless End Tour," which I thought was like a great title for it, and it said featuring "Freedom Doesn't Need a Trigger." And uh, I went, "Oh my God, send me those lyrics because that title just off the charts good." And um, he responded with, uh, "There aren't no lyrics, dude. It's all lie." <laughs> so I went, well, there are now. Is that okay? Can you hear that? Too loud. Sounds cool. See them mumble. So thank you. The long clap out there. tendency to bang the heck out of these things. The song's also kind of based on the idea of words, which are kind of like, you know, found objects, really. Just take them and right. them, them, throw them around. The tendency to bang the heck out of these things. The song's also kind of based on the idea of words, which are kind of myself in a really wild way, but that's okay. Um, so anyways, uh, so this is a song that uh, someone was telling me about their life. And a lot of times that's um, the kind of like singing to you. So I took all those little details, added a few of my own, and came up with this song. And hope you like it. And hope I can get through it. She's a rambling poet, 
wandering through Europe, adventure got lost in the streets of Spain. Some guy took her in, told her to speak Spanish, you know it's better off that way. You know it's better off that way. You know it's better off that way. You know it's better all that way. Love the next chapter two. You know exactly what to do. She took a black beeline, New York City. Where the streets are long and pretty, and the town shows no pity. You know, she thought they were prettier that way. Yeah, she thought they were prettier that way. You know, she thought they were prettier that way. Better off that way. You know, she thought that it was better off that way. You know, she thought it was better off that way. You know, she thought it was better off that way. Yeah, better way. She could raise pretty flowers, line them up like parrots. You know, it's funny how language can work that way. Finds where you've been, all your friends and former lovers, and even speaks of your dying mother. You know it's better off that way. You know it's better off that way. You know it's better off that way. Better off About 10 minutes. Uh, this is another blues tune. If I sing it right, there's a great line in there that I, that I was so happy to find and use. Um, and hopefully I remember to say it. Uh, uh, this is another blues tune. Um, let's see. Some of you may have heard it before from last time. But a month has passed, and I can't remember last week. <laughs> Sometimes, see, in between the songs, it's just as fun as the song, man. Like putting on this horse bridle. <laughs> Called Blues and Me.
very much appreciate that the song um i'm gonna play uh the song which is the thing about that last song is i was very proud unfortunately i miscued it a little bit but i was very proud to use the word rope-a-dope in a verse which is maybe dating me a little bit but nice to have a muhammad ali reference once again all right, this is uh, another one of the songs that comes to me. You know, you just take a leap, go for it, and hopefully it all works out. And um, so uh, this word epiphany came to my mind and um, I said, heck, I can use that in the song. I don't, I don't know, but I do like the song. So it's called Epiphany's Punch. <laughs> in this world alone. It's time for me to pass on my head on down the road. And all the days I've traveled, and all the days I've grown, the only place I'm ever said that I'm living in a radio show is the days like this when I'm living in one. Right in the gut. Sometimes I feel all the world. 
work me in pain and all the love I've lost. And then you told me you loved me, yeah. Then you told me you stayed. And then I realized, honey, that you have to lose that ball. And you ride in. Thanks, everybody. It's been a great day. I'm one minute ahead of time, and that's nice. All right. Good job. Thank you. Well done. Much. Well Appreciate done. That. Appreciate that. I really do. Uh, hope to see you next time. And once again, John Randbeck, you guys and our team, man, have put together a room, one complicated show. You've done some mm -hmm. great work to do that. So let's hear it for John for sure. Absolutely. All right. See y'all. Thank you.